So yesterday we saw some FIFA 19 gameplay, or as some of you called it, FIFA 1988. Um, <laughs> today we're going to be taking a look at some new player faces. Some have been in trailers for the Ultimate Team, some are in the gameplay itself. So we're just going to be analysing everything, and then we're going to do one big roundup of all the other faces that we've seen already in FIFA 19. So make sure you share this video with a friend and you leave a thumbs up for me. Let's get to 300 likes. And if you're new around here, this is the number one place for player faces on YouTube, so tap the subscribe button today and the notification bell, and you won't be disappointed. The first player face we're taking a look at today is Neymar. All the FIFA 18 stuff is going to be on the left, and all the FIFA 19 stuff is going to be on the right. This first one was from like a trailer or something for Ultimate Team, and he was celebrating. You've probably already seen it, but as you can see, there is a dramatic improvement to the face. Now, I believe this is a scan. The FIFA 18 one was more of a custom face. It looked okay, but it wasn't 100% accurate. This one takes it up a, a notch, and the hair looks fantastic as well. Uh, we have some more Neymar images to take a look at, so let's move on. And here is the back of the head comparison, and Neymar keeps the same tattoos from the side and the back of his head, but there's the inclusion of the bird's tattoo now underneath his ear. You probably can't see it in this photo, but there is other images that show this one. I've put them in older videos. But here's another one, the side-by-side. -side. You can see the, the difference in the haircut. But I think overall, the Neymar face has improved a lot. And we're still waiting for proper HD stuff until we see images from the beta and stuff. All these images are going to be a little bit blurry. They're not going to be full quality, so just keep that in mind. We move on to the next player face, which is Rabio, And you can see that there is a side-by-side -side now for him. He's definitely got an updated hairstyle and stuff. So it's just a matter of if, if this guy is a scan or if he's a custom. We still haven't figured it out, but... We'll put that old face that we've seen a few months ago on the screen there just to reiterate that this could be a scan. It's just very hard until I get my hands on the game. It's just hard to see a good image of him so far. Next up, we have Mbappe, also seen in the new gameplay. I do believe this guy is probably a new scan now. He does have an updated hairstyle. It's a lot more shaved and you can see that. Even though his FIFA 18 custom face didn't look too bad, I do hope that this is actually a scan because the scans always look better than the custom faces. We have a new foot icon that you haven't seen yet, and that is George of the Jungle. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. Or AKA Tarzan, it doesn't matter anymore. He's the meme of the channel. Mr. Cavani has his face update. You can see it in the gameplay. We've seen it before in the last video I did, but we got a better look at it in the gameplay. As you can see, he's changed up his hairstyle a little bit. It is a bit longer now, and there's no more headband as well. So finally, we get to say goodbye to that Disney-looking Tarzan guy in FIFA 18. And now we move on to George of the Jungle. We move on to a pretty surprising face update that we haven't seen yet. This is brand new stuff on the channel. We have a new hair update for Verratti. I like it. It matches the real life photo there pretty well. Uh, the old one wasn't a bad face. It just was a bit outdated. So it's good to see a, a face update for Verratti. And he's going to look even better now when I coach Italy in my private career mode. And I get to put him in midfield. There is also a little glimpse of the new Sergio Ramos face in FIFA 19. It was in the Gerard foot icon trailer, I believe. But... He's pretty much covered by Gerard. You can only see the back of his head. And I see a neck tattoo. It could be either a shadow or the neck tattoos at the back of his head. Um, I'm not really sure, but I'm going to say it's a tattoo. And the haircut looks a little bit different as well. And uh, we, we have a better photo. This one isn't the best photo. This was from my last video I did. And it's much better in terms of getting to see the face. To me, it's an updated hairstyle. Um, and the face looks a bit better as well. Like the FIFA 18 one wasn't bad, but it doesn't really look like Sergio Ramos. I think the FIFA 19 one, even from that screenshot, does look more like Sergio Ramos than the FIFA 18 one did. I could be wrong. This could not be a new face, but until we get a better image, uh, to me it does look like an updated face. Let me know what you think. Now this face wasn't found in any of the gameplays yesterday, but I did find him a few days ago and I didn't cover him in a proper faces video. But we have Goretzka now. Um, the last image we saw of him was very blurry, but I did say he did have a real face and I'm happy to show you the real face here again today and it's a big improvement and it's definitely not a generic face. So Goretzka is a good player. He's great on career mode as well. He grows very well. He's still a very young player. So this is a, a real face that I'm very excited about. Next up, we take a look at some foot icons, new faces because icons do count as new faces too. We have young Gerard first up who has an 89 overall center midfielder and his stats look okay uh, this was based on like 2001 2002 or something and you can see that FIFA on the right did a pretty good job at recreating this one he's got the haircut pretty spot on 
And the rest of the face does look like a young Gerard as well. I don't really have any issues with this one. We'll move on to the next Gerard, which is the middle Gerard, which is the prime of his career. And 91 overall, a center midfielder. His pace went down a little bit, but the rest of the stats went up. And middle Gerard did have short but longer hair than the other young Gerard. So EA have done that. You can see that in the screenshot. But there was no really good front-on photo for this middle Gerard. So I've put the best images from the trailer on the screen for that one. And lastly, we have the 2013-14 version of Gerard, And this was when his career was winding down. He went down to an 86 overall and became a center defensive midfielder stats went down a little bit as well the pace went down a lot but it does reflect the real life thing as well um, the side image there on the top left isn't too bad but the front on one you can tell it's a custom it's not really 100% accurate and I guess it can't be 100% accurate because it's not like you can turn Gerard back into his 2013-14 version and then just scan him for the game so it's quite impossible we move on to the next foot icon and that is Johan Cruyff and he's a 94 center forward um, great stats. I think this guy will be a good card. His face looks pretty good. I think they nailed the hairstyle and uh, Yeah, no real issues with this one for a custom. It looks all right The next foot icon is Brazilian legend Rivaldo who got kicked with the soccer ball on the corner flag on his knees I think and then he dived and he claimed that he got hit in the face and uh, That's his card there on the left one of them anyway 92 left winger and uh, You can see the real face on the right there not too bad these icon faces are all custom So you can't really criticize them they're not going to be scan quality, so they are, they are what they are. I'm not going to get to enjoy them anyway. I don't play Ultimate Team, but I just wanted to take a look at them anyway. Now, a few people in the comments have said that Bernadeschi has a new face now in FIFA 19. Now, this is probably the best photo I have of him. It was from my gameplay that I uploaded yesterday, but it's still very close to call. Like, it's too early to call, really. There's no real good photo that proves that it is a real face. It certainly is different than the FIFA 18 generic one, and the hairline does match the real-life photo. But once again, the photo is not the best quality, so just keep that in mind. It could be, it could not be, who knows. Now, we haven't seen this before. We haven't seen it in the beta gameplay yesterday or any of the trailers, but we did see it in the new foot pack opening animation. Neymar now has his arm tattoos in the game. Now, it's a little bit blurry, but you can still spot the, the marks on his arms. Um, I'll put some arrows to help you. But yeah, Neymar does have his face tattoos already. And I guess he's got the complete package now. I think he was probably body scanned. So if you didn't know, there are still more FIFA 19 faces that we didn't cover in this video, but we've covered before on the channel. So here is a quick compilation of all the new faces, minus the ones I've already shown.
So that is the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy it. We're going to be back with more FIFA 19 over the next few days, so make sure you are subscribed. But if you want to see more content on another platform, please follow me on Instagram. That will help me a lot as I'm trying to grow that one too. And if you want to watch another FIFA 19 video, tap the thumbnail on your screen right now. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, tap the VK icon underneath the thumbnail. And I'll see you next time.